Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to deploy one of BitGit's newer quantitative bot strategies. And actually, in today's video, I will be deploying their Bollinger Bands CTA futures strategy. So, with that being said, let's get right into the weeds. And the first place we will need to start, obviously, is over here on BitGit. Now, if you don't have a BitGit account, I will drop a link in the description down below. And if you use my link to join the platform, then you'll get a small discount on your trading fees. So once you log into your account over here on BitGit, you obviously need some funds available for trading. So you could just click on deposit and fund your account. Now, once you have some funds available for trading, you would come over here to the trade tab. You will then want to scroll down here to the trading bots link. Give that a click. That will bring you over here to the BitGit trading bot dashboard. And then down here towards the bottom, menu on the left hand side of the screen you'll see spot cta and futures cta in today's video i will be deploying a futures cta bot so i'll give that a click now i guess before we get too much further along if you're not familiar with a cta bot it's essentially a quantitative strategy or a commodity trading advisor at the end of the day, CTA strategies mostly use price volume trends for short term trading and building complete index trading systems. And these strategies, at least over here on BitGit, include a MACD and a Bollinger brand strategy. Those seem to be the two strategies they're currently offering. And since these strategies are fully automated, they eliminate human emotions or decision making. And in fact, right now, BitGit really only offers the AI bot version of this strategy. So there are really no settings for you to have to come up with. You basically just give the bot some ammo and click go. So with that in mind, let's get to deploying one of these bots. Now back over here on the bot dashboard for futures CTA, I can select from a variety of different strategies, whether it's all of the strategies, the MACD strategies, or their Bollinger Band strategies. And for the purpose of today's video, I will be deploying this Bollinger Band strategy here that is basically operating off of the one hour candles. It's a long strategy for Bitcoin USDT and it's using 5x leverage. And so far, the 30 day APY, which is based on back tested data. Now, it's important to keep in mind back test results do not guarantee future results. And so far, based on 30-day back-tested data, the APY for this particular strategy would be around 1,300%. So with that all in mind, let's go ahead and click Select. And now you can see the parameters for this particular strategy. Again, that 30-day APY is 1,300%. Candlestick interval is one hour. Open direction and leverage. This is going to be going long with leverage of 5x. The maximum drawdown so far apparently has been around 12.5%. Trade slash win rate. Apparently the strategy has executed 17 trades with an 88.8%, .8%, almost a 90% win rate. So not a bad win rate, but again, Past performance does not guarantee future performance. And then the optimal parameters are set on basically the upper and lower bands. And you're looking at K30 and N2. And if we drop down, we can get some more details. Automatic futures trading on BTC USDT, one hour candlesticks. 100% of the funds allocated to this bot will be deployed on each trade. And basically the bot will open a long position when the price falls below the lower band and close when the price goes above the upper band. And so if we take a look over here at a chart for Bitcoin USDT futures on the one hour 
candles and I have the Bollinger Band indicator dropped in we can take a look at how that strategy would actually operate and if we look all the way back here to the left hand side of the screen you can see where bitcoin's price dips down below the lower blue band on the bollinger bands and that would be an entry when the price rips up and breaches above the upper blue band on the bollinger band that would be your exit or take profit point and then when the price rolls over again and dips down below the blue band which is actually back here not over here and so when the price dips down below the lower band you would get your entry and eventually take profit when the price rips up and above the upper band and once again it takes a while for the price to get back down below the lower band but eventually it does that would be your entry and then when the price rips back up and breaches above the upper band you would capture profit. And so in theory, that is how this strategy should operate. So a pretty standard Bollinger Band strategy. And again, most importantly, the bot parameters are based on historical data and do not guarantee future profit. And then if we scroll down, you can see we can adjust our leverage from 5x. Wow, we'll actually let you adjust to 100x. I mean, that's totally degenerate. Here they at least let you know leverage should not exceed 10x. I think for this particular strategy, I'm going to stick with the 5x just to see if it will actually perform somewhere around that 1000% APY. Now I need to give the bot a little bit of ammo or margin. So this will actually be the amount of money I am putting at risk. And so in this case, I think I'll give the bot 500 USDT. But as you did see, you could give the bot a minimum of like 24 USDT. So you could get started for a very small investment. Now you could also just use a percentage of your available funds but we already got that set at 500 USDT, so we're good there. Next, we can take a look at the advanced settings. Now, I'm not going to mess with the take profit percentage because I want the bot to actually take profit based on the actual strategy. Now, as far as the stop loss goes, it's always a good idea to set a stop loss. Not using a stop loss when trading is like going into battle without armor. Eventually, you're going to get blown up. So this strategy apparently has a maximum drawdown of around 12.5%. And with that in mind, we'll set our stop loss at 25%, which should give this bot plenty of room to maneuver. Now the last thing to do is click on create. You can now confirm your parameters, which really you weren't able to adjust other than maybe the stop loss and your leverage. Obviously the amount you invested all looks good. Let's click confirm. And recently BitGit did make an excellent upgrade to their system by separating out your bot trading from your traditional trading. So you could actually still have bots open and still live trade without interfering with either position. And basically that's what this alert refers to. And so I just click understood. And with that, the bot's been deployed. So now we just sit back and wait. Now, I will do an update video on how this bot is performing in the future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.